This is an early 1950s Royal Model 801. However, this cleaner is actually badged Hudson here, and I wish I could find a Hudson bag for it to match that. This badge here, which is crooked, it's the belt cover on one of these types of machines, is because of, most likely, the J.L. Hudson Company here in Detroit. J.L. Hudson was a very large department store downtown, large enough to where they could get private label from the P.A. Geyer Company, a.k.a. Royal. Now this was found up in the rafters of my, of one of my employers, a, a local vacuum cleaner repair shop, and uh, it had been up there for 30 years. It had been used for parts at one point, and this whole axle here on this side was missing, and I had to uh, have a makeshift solution of a bolt um, with a couple of nuts to act as spacers. Um, there was no way else I could do that. None of the more modern axles fit this. This has the, of course, old school Royal Infinite Height Knob adjustment system. If I can get that down to the carpet so our, our, the demonstration portion of this will be a little bit better. And on this carpet, don't really expect much. As I've said in some of the others, other videos that I've shot of late, this carpeting is very persnickety. It really doesn't work well with certain vacuum cleaners. works well with others that you wouldn't expect it to work well with. So this cleaner really doesn't do very well on this carpet. Although, compared to other machines that would have been contemporaneous with this machine, it really isn't very powerful at all. My Hoover 28, my Eureka Model 250, um, and any of those cleaners really do clean better than this Royal. But I would like to show it off and show how it works. Um, the delay in posting any more videos until today has been because I filmed um, a repair video working on an amplifier but I'm waiting on a part that has held up that video um, from being done. So without further ado, I will uh, demonstrate this as soon as I get the phone mount back into the tripod. Come on. Oh dear. Is it actually going to work? There we go. If I do this as one take, it's a lot easier than trying to edit it later. power switch on the handle, as per most Royals. Again, this is not an original machine or any particular collector's piece, but it's one that I like and enjoy. Well, this about concludes the demonstration of my early 1950s Royal Hudson Model 801, built by the P.A. Geyer Company. Um, it's a neat piece, and the main reason I got it was because of the Hudson badging. Now, if only I could find a Hudson bag for it. I actually have an alternative Royal bag for this. Both of those were up at the shop uh, in the old bags bin. Um, 
and so I ended up buying both of them for my boss. I just thought it would be um, interesting, and I kind of picked this one as the one of the two, considering um, the red matched the Hudson badging on the front.